Answer, hello darling. Uh, welcome to your love reading for this month of April. I feel like Cancer. <laughs> I mean, <laughs> oh, I'm hearing the word whipped. Like you got somebody whipped. Like, not like, you know, a belt whipping somebody ass, but like somebody is like crazy over you. Like they're trying to ignore you, but it's like there's urges. Like you got somebody messed up. Somebody is like, I'm not going to say like Jeffrey Dahmer obsessed. Like, you know, I'm not going to say like, you know, you know, I'm not going to say them serial killers obsessed, but I'm going to say like you got somebody whipped. Like you were on their mind. It's like you put a spell on them. That's how they feel. Like, what the hell do cancer do? Like, I, I wake up thinking about them. I go to sleep thinking about them. I make my morning breakfast, my morning tea thinking about them. I'm going outside to distract myself from thinking about them, but I can't stop thinking about them. But you got somebody whipped. <laughs> whipped. Not even the W-H-I-P-P-E-D, but we upped. W-H-I-U-U-U-U-U-P-P-E-D. <laughs> whipped. Uh, cancer. What do you have for Cancer in Love this month of April? Cancer in Love this month of April. Love and Romance. Okay, we have the King of Wands. For some of y'all, uh, this may not resonate with everybody, but for some of y'all, because I'm hearing um, Iggy, Iggy Azalea, like the I-G-G-Y. I don't even listen to Iggy yet. That's literally the only thing I know by her. But I feel like, you know, Iggy has a BBL. She got her body done up. So for some of y'all, Either you got your body done and you look good, like uh, Dr. Miami blessed you, or you have a, like you naturally just have a nice figure eight shape, or you just naturally got a good shape that they like. Whatever you look like, this person likes. Some of y'all got a fat butt, or you got hips, you got curves, or even if you're skinny, like you're slim, y'all look good. This, like you are just this person's type. So they're immediately thinking of you in that way. Uh, Body-wise, superficial-wise, wanting something. What is this King of Wands for Cancer this month of April? Love and Romance. King of Wands, Queen of Cups. I feel like um, King of Wands, Queen of Cups. I feel like maybe Cancer, if you engage with this person, because I feel like they might not be your type, but you like them because they like you. <laughs> so you're attracted to how much they're attracted to you which is why you like them. Like you're attracted to them, but you're really attracted to the attention that you receive from them. Cause I feel like they are all over you. They want you in that way. And you like that they want you in that way, but maybe you don't actually like this person. You just like that they're so whipped over you. But in this connection, I feel like you know exactly what you're doing. I feel like you got this person on, on a leash. Like you got this person on lock. Like you can make them do whatever you want. Like buy me a sandwich. Okay, do you want, do you want ham or rye? Like what, you know what I mean? You want, um, I said ham or rye. Do you want, <laughs> do you want regular bread or rye? Like, do you want that on this or that? Swiss or American? Like they will, like you've got somebody on lock, basically. I don't know what you did. If you gave somebody some, some, something, um, if you, if you engaged in those activities with somebody, then now they're obsessed. Like they're hooked on you. Like you really did it good. Or if you're just, if you're teasing them or something like that, I'm not sure, but they will do whatever you want. <laughs> you have this person literally like at your knees, like they will worship you if you want them to. Yeah, I feel like it's because you're so beautiful. Someone here finds you so incredibly beautiful. You're very attractive, gorgeous. And the thing too is that you're very soft. Some of you may have a gentle, soft voice. You have very gentle and soft features. And I feel like you have a glow about you cancer that someone really loves they love that you are like the epitome of a woman a pity of uh, the a pity the epitome of feminine energy um that that's what this person loves is what i feel like you the way your clothes drape over your body how slow and soft you are when you speak um i feel like they can really sense your emotion when you speak or when you say something, when you talk about something that you're passionate about or something that you really care about. Like you really show how much you care and they love that about you. Like you are the epitome of feminine energy to them. They are very attracted to you, very attracted to that. Some of you guys may like getting your toes done, white toes, or if you're a man, you like getting your nails done. 
like um clear nail polish or something like that like somebody somebody really likes like you're the epitome of some kind of energy you embody their opposite energy which is why they're so attracted i feel anymore who is this person for cancer in love who is this person for cancer in love romance who's this person i feel like this is someone that you're ignoring you don't answer their phone calls or if you don't have their number yet you may end up starting to ignore them we have the three of wands i feel like they could live, live at a distance from you i feel like they're a good listener i'm also getting they're an aquarius for some of you um they may make dinner plans for you like they may make they may have plans for you and whatever this is that you guys are in it could be a connection or building towards that but they have plans very far out far out into the future like they see you in their future like these plans include you in it they may want to go overseas or they may travel overseas from time to time i'm also getting something here about like a record label or a record deal what's this three of wands i feel like this person at the drop of a hat like they will drop everything just to come see you or come be with you they're very quick to respond um the three of wands the wheel of fortune i feel like this person will not have you waiting like if anything you're the one that they're waiting on like they're waiting on you to get on board like you're gonna be my girl, you're gonna be my wife, you're gonna be my man, you're gonna be my husband. You just don't know it yet, but you will. Just I need you to get on board. You're taking a little long. <laughs> tick, 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 tock, tick, tock, tick. Like time is going <laughs> any day now, but you will be mine. You don't know it, your family doesn't know it, but I do. Like <laughs> I feel like this person is just waiting on you, just waiting on you, Cancer. Waiting on you to start playing your part. This is just a part of the story, except you're not you're not reading your lines right, but it's all right. It just takes practice. <laughs> uh, no, I'm kidding. They're not that crazy, but I'm getting something like that. Like, you know, like you're like they're just waiting on you. Just waiting on you. They're they're very patient, but they're just waiting on you. You ain't gotta rush them to do nothing. Like they they they're on it. They're on their stuff, they're on top of it. They could be very organized. I don't know who this person is. They could they could be a player. I don't know if it's present tense or past tense they were um sagittarius now i've been getting this a lot with this card the the temperance card um that they will worship you so i don't know if that's a sagittarius trait like when they're do they like worship or when they're i have sag in my chart twice but i'm not sure if that's a sag trait like worship like worshiping someone like worshiping the ground someone walks on like really like you know calling someone like queen like king I love you, I'll do anything for you, like sacrificing. But I feel like someone here is very into you. The signs that we have so far are Sagittarius, Wheel of Fortune, and Temperance, so big Jupiter energy. They could have big D or um, big C, I mean P, Puss, Pussy, Poom Poom energy. <laughs> oh God, that was a lot. They could have big B, D or, you know what, fuck the alphabet. They could have big whatever, B, B, D, E, big dick energy, even if they're a man or woman. They're big kahuna in these streets. Um, But yeah, it could be a Sag. It could be an Aries with this three of wands. It's a deacon of Aries. But with the Empress, we have Libra or Taurus energy. And we have Aries, Leo, Sag, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. But I feel like this person will worship the ground that you walk, that you walk on. Like, if you say yes, they will make you, like, you are their queen. I feel like they find you hot, attractive. Um, they are very into you, and they will do anything for you. Uh, okay, tell me more about this person for cancer. This could be a Leo. If it's a Leo, I feel like they're a liar. Uh, <laughs> Seven of Cups reverse. Yeah, I feel like they are not confused at all when it comes to you. Like, they are very certain about you. You may be the one that's on the fence in this. You may be the one that's unsure but they, they will take a lot of initiative. They are very like, they're very proactive in this, like pursuing you. They have no question in their mind, like you are it for them. But I feel like maybe you might be questioning them or you might be questioning if this is it for me, do I want this with them? I feel like there's no question in their mind. They will do anything for you. Now, what is Cancer's uncertainty about regarding this person? If you really like them, what is Cancer's uncertainty about? With this person, what is Cancer's uncertainty about regarding this person or this connection? The Ten of Pentacles, maybe they don't make as much money as you. Maybe they don't make enough for you. Ten of Pentacles and the Sun. Ooh, they could be a thief. Oh, God. Are they are they a criminal? That, that, is, a, that is definitely something to, um, to, to take into consideration if they are, if they're committing crime. Uh, 
That didn't come out at first. Whoa. What are, what are you doing? That's what's going on? The <laughs> Ten of Pentagon. Oh, God. Yeah. I mean, that is definitely something to look at. Um, yeah. That is... Okay. Ten of Pentacles, the sun. What is the Ten of Pentacles in the sun? For why is cancer on the fence regarding this thing with this person? Ten of Pentacles, the sun... Okay, so I feel like initially this person could have lied about something and then they revealed it to you after. But it's the fact that they lied at first. Like, you didn't have to lie to me. Like, now you told me the truth now, but you lied first. You didn't have to do that. You didn't have to tell me the truth. You could have just not told me anything, but you lied first and now I'm finding it out. Or now you're coming clean. The problem was the lie. Or maybe you ended up figuring it out yourself. Like, they never came to you and told you. Um, so for some of y'all, it's honesty or truthfulness that's a problem. Uh, I feel like they also lack a lot of clarity or direction in their life in general. Like, how can you be, you're sure about me, but like your finances are not great or you hate your job or something like, like, you know, like there's other areas of your life that you're neglecting and you're about to put everything into me. Like, what about that? What about that? What about your career? What about your education? What about your children? If they have children, like. I feel like they're neglecting to tell you certain things. Tell me, tell me more about this for why is cancer on the fence regarding this? Tower, Ten of Pentacles, and the Sun. What is it for why is cancer on the fence? Okay, Queen of Swords. I feel like you're very direct, you're very blunt. And I feel like cancer in general, you are very sure of yourself. Like I feel like you have good discernment it's just with this, you're not clear on it. And it's like, you're normally clear on a lot, but I'm not clear on you. I'm not sure where you stand. I'm not sure how I feel about you yet. I'm not sure if I like you yet. I feel like you've already had a bad experience with them and that's causing you to want to cut the cord, but it's like, I'm not sure yet. Ten of Pentacles, the sun, the tower, and the queen of swords. Someone could also mention their ex a lot. Something here about their their ex lighting, li liking to eat eggs, li liking eggs or something. Someone like really likes eggs. Now, I don't know. Are you nitpicky about like the way someone likes to eat certain things? Are you just nitpicky, Cancer? Is that why you don't like this person? Ten of Pentacles, the sun. I'm hearing like green eggs and ham. Ten of Pentacles. I also feel like this person likes to act really nonchalant and not interested, but they are. So it's like all of these obsessive feelings, they're not showing it? I'm confused. I thought they were. Tell me more. Give me give me another card for why, why is why is cancer on the fence about this? Why is cancer on the fence about this? Okay, the hierophant. I would hope that okay, hold on. The hierophant. I feel like cancer, you, you don't see yourself with this person. Like if I need a, I'm hearing I'm hearing this. If I need a shoulder to cry on, I don't think you're gonna be there. Like or I don't think you or me, if you, even if you are, I don't think you're that shoulder. Like, I don't think it's going to be you. It just doesn't feel right. Like, if I need someone to talk to or cry to, you might be available, but I don't think I would want, I don't think you're what I would need. I don't think you're what, I don't think you're the one that I should talk to, or I don't think you're the one I should tell this to. Like, I don't know if you're the right person to spill everything to or to be honest with or to express myself with. Like, I'm not sure if you're going to be there in the long run. I don't really foresee something big with this. So it's like, why would I open up to you just to have it all go to shit later? Then what's the point? I feel like this is not a risk that you're maybe willing to take, Cancer. Someone's willing to go all in with you, though. Like, they're willing to go all out for you, spend all the money on you, spend all the bread, go all in for you, but you're not sure. I don't know if this person's not attractive enough to you or... You don't like the same things they do or you're just nitpicky or they lied at first. It could be any of those things. It could be all of those. But, um, okay. What will be the outcome of this love thing for cancer? What will be the outcome of this love situation for cancer? Two of wands. Yeah, I still I feel like you're still looking. That was a crazy stutter. I feel like you're still looking for your options. You're still looking at your other options. Two of wands and the death card. Um, I don't usually take these cards literally like this, but I feel like you might just end up dropping them for a Scorpio or someone else that's like better looking or has more like brownie points, I guess. Maybe this person's just not it. Two of Wands and the Death card. If this does work, I feel like someone has to make a change here, but I feel like you might ultimately end up moving on. 
Like you're deciding they're not worth the, they're worth the risk and you're just entertaining something else. Mm. Okay, but that's all I have for you, Cancer. Uh, I hope this reading helps you in some way. I hope it resonated and I'll see you in your next reading. Bye guys.